approached me in the park and you asked me for a cigarette. I said I got two for you if you sit and talk for a bit. You asked me what we'd talk about and why I wanted you there. I said we could talk about reservations or even the stench in your hair. You told me you didn't care for those things and one smoke will do you fine. I said if that's the way it's got to be, could you at least tell me the time? for you to give me a cigarette, you aggressively replied. I appreciated your sense of humour, but still I began to cry. I started screaming at the mothers and the children on the swing. I laughed hysterically on the seesaw and I broke down in the sand. I menaced a family barbecue. I threw steaks and snaggers everywhere. I bathed myself in coleslaw and lay drying on the ground. to me as I lay there, the family's all leaving. It's two in the Arvo, you fucking nutter now, do you have a ciggy? I sat up and I rolled you one, I rolled one for me as well. You asked if you should stay and talk, I said you might as well. Turned out we had heaps in common, we chatted there for hours. You told me that you got ten bucks and we should go get a gooner. Said that's a fucking great idea, why didn't we think of it sooner? So off we went to the bottle shop, wrapped up in some randoms doona. We, we, she said you got no ID but you're definitely 21. I took the cash, I went inside and I came out with the fun. And then we returned to the park and started drinking like delinquents. We played on swings and seesaws and even the jungle gym. You were better at the monkey bars but I was better at jumping. You beat me in a running race and I punched you in your face. But you didn't care because you're tough and we sat and had a smoke. As you had a drink and passed the goon, I said, you're a pretty tough bloke. We started talking music then and decided to start a band. We would be the best band ever, no doubt about it, man. You could play the drums real good and I could play the guitar. We won't have to drink this goon when we are famous stars. Me that you like the goon and maybe we shouldn't do it. I said, yeah, you're probably right. Why would we ever want to get rich? We couldn't come up with a good enough answer, so we went and fetched guitars, took my cigarettes in your goon bag. We went busking out the front of Elmar's. After about an hour or two in our third song by the Pogues, Elmar came out with two kebabs, said they're yours if you leave me alone. And we'd already made about 23 bucks, so we took the kebabs to depart. Although Elmar is a bit of a prick, he makes kebabs seem like a work of art. It was getting pretty chilly then, and the goon was running low. So we went and bought another one, and we thought, where could we go? I said, if you want to crash, there's a couch in the shed at my place. You said you're feeling fucking tired, and the shed sounds fucking ace. You were gone, but you were back before too long. With a loaf of bread and two bananas, I didn't ask you where they come from. Yeah, I woke up and you were gone, but you were back before too long. With a loaf of bread and two bananas, I didn't ask you where they come from. Yeah.